Hi, eighth grade. Um, I want to apologize in advance because I'm feeling a little under the weather today, which you can probably hear uh, in my stuffy nose and my raspy voice. So I'm going to do my best not to do too much sniffling uh, or sneezing, disrupting the video, but I just want to let you know, ugh, just not feeling that great today. Okay, we're going to be doing a video today on drawing a human nose. And uh, I've most likely already talked with you about how everybody's nose has a little bit of a different shape. I like to start drawing noses starting with the um, the tip of the nose. So I have a very round tip of my nose, so I'm going to start right here with a circle. Um, everybody has two nostrils, and um, there's kind of different parts of the nostrils. There's the actual hole itself, and then there's also sort of that, you know, for lack of a better word, this like flesh on the outside of a nostril that kind of holds that in place. So what I like to do when I'm drawing a nose, and I know this doesn't look like a nose yet, is I just try to kind of map out where those nostrils are going to go. So you can see this will be the tip of the nose. These will eventually become the nostrils. And one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're drawing noses is they make a really distinct line on either side of the nose to show where the nose meets the face. But we are going to actually create that line here um, using shadow. And we're going to wait till a little later on to do that. So the nose has just a few simple parts, starting with that tip of the nose, which I've already put in place. I want to start establishing where I want my nostrils to come in. So I'm going to map out the bottom of the nose here. I'm going to make this a little bit more of a what we would call a bulbous nose. I'm just trying to figure out where those nostrils are going to go. So these will eventually become the, the holes in the nose. Um, I have this curved form happening around the outside. What I want to do now is I want to make sure that I show that that skin is coming down and it kind of almost rips right up into this little opening that we've created. I apologize, I don't have the words for everything that I'm doing, so a lot of what you're going to see today, a lot of what you're going to learn, you're just going to have to watch to understand. I'm trying to get that pretty symmetrical there and you can start to see this nose form sort of taking place and I don't want to get too carried away with outlines I'm just suggesting where those are going to be now that I'm pretty certain I've got those pieces marked I'm just gonna get rid of those original lines and this would be a good example of when you should draw light until you get it right if you draw too dark right off the bat, you're going to be stuck with some unfortunate outlines. Now that I have that in place, I know that the darkest place in the nose is definitely going to be right on the inside of the nostril. It's usually darker right at the top, and it gets a little lighter as it goes down. I'm going to do that on both sides. I don't want it to look like a perfect circle. I don't want it to look like, you know, a giant hole in the face. Most nostrils are not perfectly circular, although yours might be. Everyone's different. Um, I'm going to be using a number four blending stump today. This is one of my all-time favorite drawing tools. Remember, it's just a tool for blending. It doesn't have any color um, on it already, so you have to make sure that you have a little bit of graphite there so that you can blend and smooth. So I'm just going to start coming in with my blending stump, and I'm going to have you kind of watch what's happening here. I'm just creating this shadow on the underside of the nose. There's going to be a little bit of value around the sides. Now, because this nose has a round tip, I want to make sure that I'm shading it in a round form. So just using my pencil, I'm just going to very carefully map in where I want to add some shadows. And I'm using an overhand grip here. That's going to help me use the wide, flat side of my pencil graphite. And hopefully that will work. Okay. 
Now this is just a very basic nose. I'm not going for my nose or anyone in particular. I'm just trying to do a very basic human nose. Could be male, female. I'm really emphasizing, excuse me, that rounded form there. I'm also giving shadow to the outside of the nose. You're going to notice your nose is going to have a lighter strip right down the middle. The part of the face that comes out farthest is always going to catch a little bit of reflection. So I want to make sure I can see that right along the, the bridge of the nose here. I might want to bring in shadows just a little bit farther. All of this is just a lot of playing around. You'll notice there are so few lines. There's really only three lines in the whole drawing. The left nostril, the septum here, and then also the other nostril. And I'm gonna actually come in, and just give it a little bit more definition to really show that it's got some deep shadows happening there. Now you'll notice this takes time. I'm really trying to go as quick as I can, but still do a nice job for you all. I add a little bit more shadow underneath. And I'll blend that with my blending stump. I cannot overstate how important a blending stump is. It's one of just the absolute best tools for creating shadow. Now, of course, if we were gonna make an entire face here, we could add in the eyes and the eyebrows right up here, but I'm pretty happy with this. It's not a terribly advanced version. Um, the more you practice, the, the better you will get at shadows, but for people just starting out, just like you guys, this is gonna be a really nice example for you. So the key here is, Keep the parts that come away from the face, they should have a nice light shadow. The areas that curve back towards the rest of the face are gonna have the darker parts. And you wanna limit the amount of lines that you use. And there you have it. A pretty basic, round, cute little nose, if I do say so myself. Thanks for watching.